On the profile page, we want to be able to fetch any user's data based on their ID. So let's see how we can do that. We'll head to Profile. And our first step is to get a user. We want to get a user by their ID. So we'll do that with component did mount. And we'll create a function called get user, which will import, not get user script, but get user. And we'll create it in a new file in our lib folder called API for interacting with our API. So we'll import Axios. And we'll export const get user. We're going to get a user by their user ID. So that's what we'll call the parameter. And we'll await axios.get. This will be a get request to the path slash API, our users routes, profile. And then to profile, we just need to pass in the user ID. Get back our data and return it. So then we can import and profile. This time, get user from lib slash API. And since, as we saw, we're able to get our user ID from the route at the end of profile and put it on our props object with the help of auth initial props, we have access to user ID from this.props.user ID. So we can destructure user ID from props, pass it to get user. Then we can, in the callback, receive the user data that's returned to us and call set state to put the user in state. So we'll create a user property set to null, and then just pass user to that set state call. So we'll save and we'll reload our profile page and take a look in our React DevTools. Go to profile. And in our state, we should have a user object with all of our user data for the currently authenticated user. It's the only one that we have right now. So we want to differentiate those users that are auth, where we're looking at our own profile, and if we're looking at some other user's profile. So also within component did mount, we can get from props our auth data. You'll see once again that from auth initial props, we're putting all of the user data on auth. So we can destructure that. We can add a simple check. We'll say const is auth and we'll compare auth.user.underscore_id and see if that's equal to the user ID that we're getting from the route. And if so, if is auth returns true, we can put that in state. It'll initially be set to false, and we can pass is auth to set state as well. We'll save once again. We'll refresh and search again for profile. And we can see that is auth is true. We can use this isAuth flag in order to determine the controls that we put on the page. For example, if isAuth is true, if we're looking at our own profile data, we'll have a edit button and a delete button to respectively edit and delete our profile. But if isAuth is false, we want a follow or unfollow button in order to follow or unfollow some other user. One other thing to note is that the request that we make for our user data takes place over a certain period of time. It's not going to happen immediately, so while we're waiting for the data to come in, we can show a loading spinner. So we can add in our state, is loading set initially to true. And then when we get the data back, we can just set is loading to false. So first let's uncomment all of our imports. We want to create our markup, and we'll remove our dummy div We'll start with a paper component. We'll have the class name of classes, classes.root. The elevation, just to give it some box shadow, we can set elevation to four. We'll have a typography component. And the component will be 
in h1, and the variant will be of h4 in size. We'll align it to center, and we'll give it the class name classes.title. We can add gutter bottom to space it a bit from the content underneath it. And the text for typography will be profile. Now underneath our title, we'll display our loading spinner. We'll check to see if we have is loading, if is loading is true. So we'll destructure that from state. If is loading is true, we'll display a div with the class name of classes dot progress container. This will be a container for the circular progress component. And on progress we can set the class name to classes dot progress. We'll make sure before we forget we'll grab classes from our props. And make the size of it 55 and a thickness of 5. And if we don't have a loading state, if we have our data, we will include a list, a list component with the keyword of dense to make it a bit denser in appearance. We'll have a list item within it, beginning with a list item avatar and we'll have the avatar itself. The source for it will be user.avatar. So we'll grab our user from state. Class name will be classes.bigavatar. Underneath list item avatar, we'll have list item text. And the primary text for it will be user.name to display the user's name. And the secondary will be user.email right underneath it. And we can actually write this just with one tag. Then underneath our list item text, we'll have in an auth state our edit buttons. Otherwise, we're unauth, meaning it's not us. It's not our profile that we're looking at. We're just going to have the follow or unfollow buttons. So if is auth is true, we'll have a list item secondary action component, which will contain a link. And this will be from next slash link. Link with an href to our edit profile page within the link a tags within those an icon button the color of primary and an icon of edit then if we have a value for is auth of false we will show our follow and unfollow buttons or actually just one button that will follow and we'll put that in a separate component so for now we'll just add a holder div with the text follow. And then underneath the list item, we'll have a divider. It'll divide all of the content above with another list item. In it, we'll have list item text, which again, we can make in one line. So the primary value for this primary text will be from user.about, if we have any about text. And for secondary, we'll use template literals to say when the user joined, and they joined on user.created app. So for now, let's save, head back to our app, and we should see very briefly our circular progress and a loading state. Then we get all of our user data loaded. And we see our edit icon button, where if we click on it, we'll be taken to the edit profile page to eventually edit our profile. And one last step, if you want to make our title text the same color as our circular progress, 
you can just go to the title class and change the color to theme.palette.primary. Let's say main. And we save. And now our profile title is the same teal color.